Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we were supposed to bring here this discussion yesterday, but because of power blackout, we don't manage to uh, do it. So, you know, we are living up country, Ukwa village, Stima Ikeenda, Nihivo, and we don't have that uh, reliable backup. So, in terms of maybe research or uploading, it was not possible. But above all, I think it is better because people are asking why you're not discussing this. We bring this discussion here as far as what is going on in this country that we will go on record eh, as being part of uh, the discussion that was happening in the country. Now, we know very well that after Ruto got serious political beatings through heckling in uh, Meru, he decided to fly direct to Italy. <laughs> You know, Italy, there's a function going on there where um, African leaders, of course, were meeting there. And uh, this is coming at a time when Kennedy decided to remind William Ruto what he said about what African leaders will be doing going forward. Because Ruto was in the forefront criticizing the treatment that African leaders were subjected to, whereby one country called more than 52, 54 heads of state to have a meeting with them. Then he was asking, which kind of debate can you have? 54 of us sitting after one man. In fact, he referred to as one man. After the end of China, India, you know, all those meetings. Now, what are the big brothers? So for Ruto, it was that other, uh, you know, any other African leaders would not be summoned by one country or more. So that means that in his view, the AU uh, would represent these leaders, AU chairman and those other commissioners in top there. But for them, Hakuna Bilotaita, head of state wanakuja wanaka under one man to listen to a discussion that it can never be a discussion. So with that, Larry Mado, who is a CNN uh, uh, journalist, he decided to remind William Ruto what he said. And he's a man who has really opened this debate and the kind of are talking about that. This is what Larry Mado said. President William Ruto said he plus other African leaders would not be summoned by one country anymore. The African Union would represent them going forward. Here, he is standing just a step away from both the AU chair and the AU commission chair in Italy, while other East African president skipped. Museveni Hakuenda Samia Sulu Hakuenda, Paul Kagame was not there, but Ruto was there. What did he say earlier? We have also decided that it will not going to be business as usual. We have these meetings, Africa, uh, US meeting, Africa, Europe, Africa, Turkey. Africa, India. Now we are waiting for, there is another one, Africa, Russia. And Africa, Japan. And Africa, Japan. We have made the decision that it is not intelligent for 54 of us to go and uh, sit before one gentleman from another place. And I mean, and, and sometimes we are, we are mistreated. Yeah. You know, we are loaded into buses, like school kids. You know? And, and it's, not, it's not right. Well, you have it's summoned, not, you know. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not right. So, the decision that we have made as AU is that going forward, if there is going to be a discussion between Africa and any other country, we are going to be represented by the chair, the outgoing chair, the income, the bureau, let us... The chair of the commission and, or the chair and, of... And, uh, and, and the chair of the RECs, and we have five RECs. 
-huh. That should be sufficient okay. for, I mean, a meeting of uh, maybe six, seven, maybe six, seven. Yeah. That should be able to represent Africa. And that is the position I am taking as the president of Kenya. For any other meeting that we are going to have with all these uh, requests that we have uh, a meeting between Africa and one other country. We respect the sovereignty of others. I yeah. think to ask for, to be, for uh, reciprocation is not to ask for too much. No. And for us to agree that let us have this kind of uh, setup. The only, um, uh, because I had a conversation with President Kagame and he, he actually led that particular position. I have had a conversation with Prime Minister Abi. He believes very strongly that that should be the position mm. of, of our continent. Now, the individuals who are trying to challenge Larry Mado, and uh, Larry Mado is not even giving chance to them. This is what someone said, Emmanuel Talam, Uyul <laughs> Mutu Waruto. Create time to read the president's speech, basic journalism. Larry Mado responded to him, and this is what he said. You don't have the rug to lecture me about journalism. As simple as that. That was enough response. Now, listening to William Ruto, and then, you know, watching the photos shared on social media, where he's standing, what he said, and what he's doing currently, I'm telling you, Ruto is an embarrassment to himself. Now, my problem is not about what Ruto is saying. People should know Ruto. It is good you know Ruto. That's why I'm saying my problem is not with what he's saying. My problem is all about those who believe in what Ruto is saying. Why do you trust Ruto? Why should you believe him? <laughs> hey. Trusting Ruto and why should you do so? Hapo ndo shida yangu iko. Kama kuna mtu aliamini Ruto, hako na shida. Yeye ndiye na shida. Why should you believe in William Ruto? Hata kama kutakuwa na mkenya mwingine mwenye bana anaamini Ruto hapa, hako na shida ya mawazo. Labda ulemavu wa mawazo. So it is time now Ruto is being exposed <laughs> to the international level. And you see, the international journalist, journalists are now picking up the story. I know maybe they will be writing something about this, what he said, what he's doing. So he's being exposed. I'm telling you, Ruto is no longer an embarrassment to Kenya or Kenyans. He is an embarrassment to himself because he's being caught up in the middle on what he said and what he's doing. And we know majority of Kenyans have now understood that Ruto, when he say this, accept this opposite. You trust him. This is what he said, eh? Well, in Rome. The International Monetary Fund continue to be a central player, player in facilitating trade and uh, promoting economic growth. Its resilience and uh, sustainability facili uh, facility, RSF in particular, has helped Kenya maintain microeconomic stability, strengthen debt sustainability, and build uh, buffers against economic shocks. In Rome, Italy, held talks with the managing director of the International Monetary Fund. Mikopo inakuja. Watu wa IMF ndio wanaambia Ruto kitu ya kufanya. Na Ruto anakuja ana implement those policies. So you, you see a man whom you think was elected through the ballot, something that majority of us do not believe in. Unajiuliza, why is it that Ruto is listening more to IMF than he's listening to people who elected him, to the people who are taxpayers? Eh? 
Now you can see. He listened more to IMF than he listened to the taxpayers who carry the burden here in this country. Mujue tu utamendea mikopo na mnjipange yalea kumia. Kenya is keen on working with the World Food Program to tackle famine and the hunger. Our expanded partnership on irrigation fed agriculture will ensure that we produce more to feed more people and reduce our food import bill. <laughs> with the executive director of the World Food Program, Sidney McCain in Rome, Italy, discussed the, uh, the harmonization of our tactic to increase food production in Kenya. Hakuna <laughs> kitu ya bure. Watu wako kwa biashara. Lastly, we loud Italy for joining Kenya in pushing for more reforms of multilateral institutions starting with the, the replenishment of the World Bank International Development Association, Italy approval of new win-win cooperation with Africa on energy will also facilitate the decarbonization of the world and ensure a smooth and sustainable energy transition. Held talks with the Prime Minister of Italy. Bado wanaongea mambo ya eh, eh, carbon. The discussion to do with the carbon credit comes in where people are making money. Sasa pia Ruto ameenda kwa biashara. <laughs> biashara ya carbon. And one of our viewers was explaining to me how these people are doing this business. How is multi billion business? So if Museveni was listening to Ruto, if Paul Kagame or Samia Suluhu or any other president was buying into Ruto's you know statement, they should know that huyu ni mtu anakuja na mdomo tamtamu vile uhuru alisema lakini ile kitu anafanya on ground ni complete opposite so there's no need for you to take ruto serious no need for you to trust ruto on anything just focus on what you are doing and leave ruto alone simple he went there for personal interest ada sisi wa Kenya tunajua hakuna kitu Ruto ametuendea kule. Yeye na biashara zake na mipango ambayo anaona zinaweza wanufaishisha hao wenyewe. So with all this I'm telling you Ruto has reduced uh, himself you know is an embarrassment to himself but not to anybody or any country. I don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.